Hey guys, Marissa with Lingual Abilities here. Just wanted to update you that we are changing the way we're doing our Launching Your Telepractice Career series. It is now going to be on Thinkific, uh, which will allow you to just go through it at your own pace. So uh, all but four of the modules have been loaded. We're waiting uh, to load the last couple uh, this weekend. So if you're looking to purchase the entire bundle, uh, look for that this weekend and everything will be up. Otherwise, we have everything um, one through six and then 11 and 12 are already up. So take a look at those, see if you're interested. We're going to give you a little teaser now of the module six, behavioral management and collaboration strategies for telepractice to get you excited about our courses. Thanks, guys. Another thing I did want to show you is how to implement these visual supports in a digital environment. So of course you can still use your paper based things and your client has a version, you have a version, but it's very easy to make these for uh, digital use as well. So a simple one here, I have a uh, whiteboard um, website open and so I'm able to bring in pictures and move them around which is really nice so you can have this set up for your entire session or multiple clients just by moving down to the next part. Um, this here I think is just a real easy way to remember first then and you can bring over here you know a little marker tool and decide okay first we've done our work with our AEC device then we're going to do iPad and then you know um, remind them that way so that's nice. What I think is even more powerful, however, is using visual schedules with a drag and drop feature. And so this is something that you can do with this whiteboard. This is called Miro. Um, you get so many free um, boards, but the board is pretty much unlimited. So it's uh, a great website. Um, so I've set up just a simple visual schedule here of, you know, first we're going to do speech therapy, then we're going to play a board game, then we're going to do a video. And you could bring in whatever pictures would work for you. You can bring in actual pictures of your client. You can bring in pictures of yourself. You can have things written with words. If it's just a one, two, three, and you write out speech therapy, board game, video, if your student or your client is at that level. Um, but I think this one's kind of cute that, you know, once you're done with this, we can drag it over here and put it in the trash can. So you really get that kind of like feedback of, all right, we're truly done with this. And then um, you finish your session and, and you've done it nicely in a digital way. So definitely think about bringing your visual supports and your visual schedules into the digital environment rather than just sticking to your paper-based systems. There's a lot of really cool applications out there.